Did you know you can use your Android Wear as a remote shutter release for your smartphone camera? I'm Lexi Savides for CNET. I'm going to show you two ways on how to do this. The first is the stock standard Google Way. All you'll need to do is download the Google Camera app from the Play Store, fire it up on your smartphone. You get all the controls like HDR and grid on your smartphone. When it comes to your Android Wear, once the app has started, you'll see a card pop up that says touch to start the camera. Now this will just give you a remote shutter release. Press it and then the photo is taken on your smartphone like so. Now this is kind of cool, but all you can do is basically review the image after it's been taken and all your other controls are on your smartphone. There is another way to get more control out of Android Wear itself, and that's by downloading a third party app. It is called Wear Camera Remote. It's also available from the Play Store. Once it's installed on your Android smartphone, all you need to do is, okay Google, start camera app. Once it finds the camera app on your smartphone, it will load up and you actually get a live view remote on your wrist of the action that the smartphone's capturing. This is obviously gonna, gonna only work within Bluetooth range, but it gives you a bit more control than the actual camera app from Google. If you swipe across, you can also choose to use either the rear or the front camera to take photos, turn the flash on or off, and use a self timer. Once you set everything to go, you, all you need to do to take a photo is just tap on the screen and then if you've chosen a self timer it will count down and vibrate on your wrist or it will just take the photo like so and it will save it to your phone. So those are a couple of ways on using the Android Wear as a remote camera release. Stay tuned for heaps more fun tips on using Android Wear over at CNET.